In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you probably, I think, one of the most important tips for making your nickel over or really any blitz that you're using better um, with the most overpowered, not overpowered, I don't know if it's overpowered, I don't know if that's the right word, um, but one of the best abilities that you can use in the game. And this is why the Chargers are the best regs team in the game, um, and here's why. I'm going to show you why it's so valuable, especially, specifically in nickel over, or if you're running a defense like nickel over. Now, if you want to get my full nickel over e defensive ebook, the link is in the description below um, to join our Patreon for just 10 bucks. You'll be able to get access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all the updates to those ebooks. And we're going to have a major update to our nickel over ebook this week. We're also releasing a, uh, or I'm sorry, early next week. And then we're also releasing a brand new defense, uh, defensive ebook next week as well. So a lot of really good stuff coming. Make sure you're in the Patreon so that you can get all of that material. And like I said, it's only $10 to sign up for that. And again, it gets you, um, it'll get you a ton of access or access to a ton of stuff. So let's take a look at this. Um, so the the main blitz out of Nickel Over is Over Storm Brave. Okay. So basically, what you're going to do is you're just going to stand kind of by the running back because that's your responsibility. And what you should get is two way heat, as you see right there. We're able to get two way heat. Now, in the Nickel Over ebook, we show you how to make this blitz ten times better. Literally make it more consistent um, against different pass protections and all that. But let's say that they block their running back and they block their tight end. Okay. I want you to watch what happens. You're going to see here that you're going to basically get a one-on-one -on -one with your, with your defensive ends who have edge threat. You're going to get a one-on-one -on -one and not, a lot of times their edge threat ability will light up and they will get an instant shed or disengage. Um, and I'll show it again. I forgot to block seven. Again, they have to block seven to pick this blitz up um, as long as you do your job as the user. Once you see they block seven, then you'll just kind of lurk in the middle of the field for coverage. See how? See there? That's a great example of why edge threat is so powerful. So even when they block seven to pick up this blitz, right, watch this. You're going to see here, he has edge threat, he lights up, he gets right off the instant shed, instant win, and he goes in. Because he's now isolated on a tight end, and we all know tight ends suck this year at blocking. Uh, and then on the left side here, a little bit better pass protection, obviously, because he's a tackle. But if I run this consistently, this is why you want to have two edge threats, okay? Um, this is, in my opinion, why you want to have two edge threats. Uh, but what will happen consistently with this blitz is you will get these instant sheds off of one or the other typically uh or they're going to get a quick shed practice mode is a little bit fluky it's not always going to give us what we're um, exactly looking for but by and large it will so let's say and let me show you something else why edge threats really valuable so they're max protecting we actually zone out and look at our edge threats still getting isolation so they're going to double team they're going to double so like if they block seven and you send four they're not going to double team the defensive ends unless you unless the offense tells them to and even then generally they won't um they're going to double team these defensive tackles in the middle so it's going to give your edge threats one-on-ones again and as you see we get those instant instant shed wins and the, you're getting you're getting shed so fast right so the pressure is there even if the blitz isn't even called that's why edge threat is so valuable in my opinion and why if you're running a defense like nickel over or if you're running a defense like big nickel over g this is really really important because even when you like let's say we did something like this like let me show you this is kind of neat so again you get these one-on-ones and you see how we're getting instant sheds even at Matt, even with block seven it's still really hard to get anything open okay because we have man coverage behind this now let me show you if they just block a running back okay they just block the running back you see here we should get somebody completely free so they're forcing them to block either their running back or another pass protection system that they could try is basically to motion block a corner or a receiver so let me see if i can show you that so i'm going to motion gauge and motion block well look who's who, who who's he blocking our defensive end with edge threat so edge threat, especially with a defense like nickel normal, where the pressure is going to be coming more so from the interior. This is also a really good tip if you like to run uh, two, four, five, double A gap, right? This is a great tip for that. 
and you see just how good these blitzes are and also when you combine that with edge threat you're going to get a lot of instant sheds so really really incredible uh, i think cocktail or ability setup to use if you don't want to use edge threat um, you could try other pass rushing abilities out such as um, double or nothing bogo those are really good um but i'm just telling you like having those abilities on those defensive ends so that when they do get picked up they're going to get instant sheds especially in this because they're getting a one-on-one -on -one with probably the worst pass protector on the uh on the offensive side of the ball the tight end very valuable so make sure you have edge threats especially if you're running something like this i think it's really important make your defense 10 times better because you're not going to be so reliant on the blitz you you still can use the blitz and the blitz is still there but now even when they pick up the blitz you have a chance of getting really really quick pressure thanks for watching the video i hope that this video was helpful and if you want to learn my entire nickel over defensive ebook make sure that you join our patreon it's only 10 bucks to sign up for that and uh, like I said, it gets you access to all the ebooks and all the e all the updates. So head on down to the description, and hopefully we will see you over at the Patreon page.